what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael, at your most humble service, it is Friday afternoon. What does that mean, boys and girls? Deadlift day. That's right. That's right. Deadlift day. Good job. Ain't nobody in here. I'm all alone. Uh, okay. Anyway, a quick shout out to everyone who reached out to me uh, on my for, uh, on my video yesterday. Kind of having a rough day. Uh, not necessarily just with myself, but with my kid and uh, just things that are going on. Uh, so I, just, I, I don't want to bring much of that into this video. I just want to say thanks. And if you're somewhat interested in that, go check out my shoulder and back workout from yesterday. Just kind of, uh, you know, talked about some serious stuff. So here we are. Today is no different than yesterday was. Nothing's changed. However, you move on and uh, you pick your chin up and you pick some weights up. So, uh, also later last night, a couple of hours after I was done with my workout, I seen uh, one of the channels, a guy that I follow on YouTube, he did 225 pound bench for like 18 reps. And I still had a lot of fire burning in me. I was, I was just really, I had a lot going on inside of me, you know? So I just came in here and threw my stuff up on the rack there and put my bench down and did 225 for 21 reps. Uh, no warm up, no nothing. Just came in here and did it. So if, it, it helped to kind of calm me down a little bit and I thank him for uh, putting that video out because it kind of gave me the urge to do something. So that's what these videos are for is not only to help showcase working out, but sometimes they help in other ways as well. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, today's workout is deadlifts. Now, I have no plans of going any certain weight, doing any certain reps, doing any certain anything, except one thing has been on my mind for maybe a day or two, about a day or two, and that is the craze the confusion, the controversy of uh, sumo deadlifts. I have never done a sumo deadlift in my life, and we're going to try that today. And with just uh, 135 on the bar, I just want to see if I can get close to what, to what a sumo deadlift is and see if I can do it. Uh, now, I have seen them a thousand times on videos, but I don't have it, like, really in my mind, the mechanics of it. And I've seen a couple of different versions of it. Just like with regular deadlifts, there's, like, a handful of versions, it seems like. So, I'm going to try my best to even replicate something, you know. So, let's do that, guys. Let's see what we can do. Today's kind of just kind of fun day. I am going to get a good workout with uh, you know, I don't have any big plans. So let's try a sumo. And today I got on my flat sole shoes. I was, I was in my socks, but my feet are freezing. So, uh, I don't even know where to stand doing sumo. I know standard deadlifts, you scoot up nice and close to the bar. I don't know if you do that with this or not. So, I got my feet outside of my shoulders. I don't know if they grab in the middle. Oh, God. And I grabbed it overhand. Oh God.
Doing those, doing those that way, whew, you're gonna work out the, uh, whatever these are called on the inside. I know what these are called, but I can't think of the name. That's all I'm gonna do with those. That's, uh, that's one of those skills that you learn over time. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. So let me get my bearings together and I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing. Oh, I know what I'm doing. While we're here, while we're filming this first clip, let's go ahead and warm up 135 with our normal deadlift. weak. That was really difficult. I feel really weak. Now it usually takes me about three or so sets to get used to moving and doing deadlifts. So I'm going to do another warm up and we'll see you after that. We'll see what we do. Stick around guys. Appreciate you.
We'll leave this going in real time. Now I've never, I've not had that happen with 405. But what that tells me is I'm just tired. <clears throat> So, remember last week whenever I did 405 really, really well? And I said that there's been times when I've struggled to even get one rep. And last week I got like multiple reps. <clears throat> this is real time, guys. I want you to see that struggles happen. It's the first time this has happened. But I can tell I'm a little worn out mentally and a little physically. Let's go ahead and get 405 though, without any distraction, no music. Let's get 405. these messages. Alright guys, let's do one last set. We're going to pull 405 again. See how it's mental? I missed on my first attempt, which never happens on 405. Then I get two sets of two. That's why people that work out will tell you that it's probably 80 to 90% mental. There you go. Let's move on to something else, shall we? All right, guys, and now as you can see, we're going to do something I've not done in quite a while, and that is uh, some dumbbell deadlifts. And uh, I don't do these very often. Oh. I'm actually going to use uh, my gloves like this just to grab onto the bars. Now, these bars are a little bit small, so they're kind of difficult to hold sometimes. And... Uh, these help, this helps out a little bit. So I'm gonna do two sets of these, probably uh, 10 reps a piece. These are 100 pounders. done today. Stick around guys. Hope you like it.
guys, I'm, I'm spent. I didn't even really do that much. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, you just wear out a little quicker. <sighs> so, I'm glad that I got that on video. That failed 405 first attempt. Because I've never seen that <laughs> before. I've come close. I've never failed. So, that's interesting to see. <sighs> and then coming back and doing two sets for two. Uh, what's kind of funny is I didn't really have plans coming in here. And this happens a lot with me. I don't know about anyone else, but I didn't really have a lot of plans coming in here. I was kind of open to whatever. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to go for a max uh, weight. I knew that. and uh, But I did know I was going to try the sumo. I didn't like that. Uh, but once I, once I got 225 on the bar, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get going on this 225, and I'm going to see if I can beat my rep PR, which I think is 27 reps with 225. But once I hit 15, <coughs> I think it was 15, and I said, eh, I'm done. And then I was kind of crazy enough when I put 405 on the bar, I thought, or no, was it, wait, 315, 225 I thought I'd get for maybe 28 to 30. And then 315 I thought, okay, I didn't do my 225, but what about 315? And at 315, I think I would have had to get 15 reps or I think 16 to beat my rep PR. I think my rep PR is 15, I think. But once I hit, I think six, I said, eh. <laughs> it's okay. So I didn't get that one. So 405, I thought, is there a crazy, weird, out of the world, off the whatever off the chain. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Is there a chance that I might could do 405 for eight reps? Cause I think I got, I think my rep PR on 405 is seven and a half, I think. And uh, I was like, do I feel like I could get eight? Even though I failed on my 225 and my 315? Cause again, you never know. But I step up to the 405 and I didn't even get my first pull on it. So that shows you, that just kind of shows you how your mind is just crazy. You know, your mind is so important. And uh, it's not just important with your deadlifts or working out or anything. Your mind is important to keep you grounded and focused and solid and secure in your everyday life. And, uh, and I think that's what a lot of us struggle with in our daily lives. And uh, I'm not saying I'm not one of them. So it just shows you the importance of your mind, the power of your mind. And there I did, and then I did two sets of two reps. Uh, the form wasn't absolutely perfect, I could tell, but uh, it was it was decent enough that you know I knew I wasn't going to injure myself. I don't know if I've ever gotten hurt doing deadlifts ever, even years ago, whenever I wasn't even really doing deadlifts, but like once a month or something, if that. But I don't know if I've ever really gotten hurt doing deadlifts. So anyway, this is a long video for not much content and I apologize, but kind of an important message just like yesterday's. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I really do appreciate everybody that comments and watches and takes part and opens up sometimes and uh, talks about things because this channel is about not just watching some old guy lift things and put them down. But it's about life. It's about going through mental struggles and your physical struggles, your ailments, your just daily life and everything. And it's about whatever you want to talk about and discuss, guys. That's what we're here for. And if you ever feel the need to talk to someone person to person, someone who doesn't talk to anyone about anything, uh, hit me up in my email, mikeyson71, M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N-7-1 at gmail.com. 
when I tell you I don't tell anybody anything, that's what I mean. I don't tell anyone anything. <laughs> you could probably tell me you murdered someone and I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell me that though. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you. And uh, if you would like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Or even on kind of days like today where we kind of, eh, we still feel accomplished. And uh, those dumbbell deads about killed me. All right? Try those if you haven't done them. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you later on the body beat down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get out of here! Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it!